In the top stories, food voucher initiative increases to benefit more persons, vaccinations underway at Her Majesty's prison, and special arrangements put in place for students sitting CXC exams. We'll be right back with the details after this. In your formative years, we were there. When you got the good news and the bad, we were right there with you. Through all your great adventures, we were always right by your side. Now that life has thrown us a curveball, we are still here. And as we navigate this difficult period, the SKCCU will continue to be there for you and your family to help you through. We will assist you in safely and efficiently accessing your funds through our digital platforms, online banking, mobile banking, ATMs, and even our drive-through services. We can get through this together with responsible financial decisions by making food and medication a priority, practicing proper hygiene, maintaining social distancing, and constant prayer. We are here for you. We are still here. We will get through this together. SKCCU will continue to be your financial partner for life. Use BioCare Lab Strong Ends products to supercharge your hair with deep lasting hydration from nature's most amazing moisturizers, raw moisturizing honey and conditioning shea butter. These ingredients pull moisture from the hair to boost, strengthen and restore the oldest and weakest parts of your hair, your ends, helping to keep them stronger. Wow, beautiful hair. Strong ends. Dry, damaged, breaking hair and no hair growth? Strong ends? Whoa! I'm not cutting this hair for anything. Weak, thinning edges due to weaves and braids. Strong ends? Longer and free of split ends. Get supercharged from roots to end with BioCare Lab Strong Ends Honey and Shea Butter Infused Relaxer and Hair Growth Product. Available retail at CNC Superfoods on the Bay Road and wholesale at CNC Trading on the CAP Southville Industrial Park. Telephone 465 4081. The dangers of sweet beverages in the Caribbean. It is time to shine a light on the dangers of sugary beverages. Sugar sweetened beverages are the main source of sugar in our diets, and eating and drinking too much sugar has been linked to being overweight and obese. In St. Kitts and Nevis, 50% of adult females and 37% of males are overweight and obese. And 28% of children are either overweight or obese. A survey showed that 62% of students between the ages of 13 and 15 drank one or more carbonated sugar-sweetened beverage every day, exceeding their daily healthy limit. So, how much sugar should we consume? The World Health Organization and American Heart Association recommends that children aged 2 to 18 should consume less than 25 grams of sugar daily and adults should consume less than 50 grams of sugar daily. It will surprise you how much sugar is in some of your favorite beverages. This chart shows that on average, one serving of a sugary beverage exceeds the daily maximum sugar intake for children, which is 25 grams, and is very close or sometimes over the limit for adults at 50 grams. The impact of sweet beverages on your health, your family and community can be severe. So, it's time to rethink your drink. This message has been brought to you by the St. Kitts and Nevis Ministry of Health. Trustworthy, secure, reliable, and responsive.
These are just some of the words customers use to describe their experience with the Bank of Nevis Limited. And after 35 years of delivering excellent customer service and honoring our corporate social responsibilities in the island of Nevis, we are finally in St. Kitts. Come and experience why we're not just another option. We are the standard. Bondstrong. Look at you. No braces. All the internet you can handle. I wasn't so lucky. <laughs> Invis is not your parents' braces. Invis is predictable, less painful, more comfortable. Invisalign. Visit Dr. Blake's General Dentistry and Orthodontics located on South Independence Square Street for your free Invisalign consultation. Call 466-7622 for your appointments. Hello and welcome to the ZIZ Major Newscast. I'm Jason Davis. 1,375 persons, up from 1,300, are now set to benefit from the recently announced Food Voucher Initiative, a collaborative effort between, among the Social Security Board and supermarkets Hosford's Value, Mart and Rams Supermarket. On Friday, a uh, release stated that the initiative equaled $250,000. However, on Sunday, another statement indicated the increase to $275,000 with the supermarkets contributing $50,000 combined. Both supermarkets will put measures in place to facilitate the operation while the National Emergency Management Agency and the Department of Social Services will coordinate the selection of qualifying individuals and the, re the distribution of the food vouchers to the recipients, Sunday's release said. Approved recipients on both St. Kitts and Nevis will receive food vouchers valued at $200 to be used at Hosford's Value Mart and Rams Supermarkets. The statement said the board is appreciative of the response from both supermarkets and their willingness to partner and took the opportunity to encourage other corporate citizens to contribute in whatever way they can to support citizens during this difficult time. The board is also imploring the general public to follow the established protocols, including the use of non-pharmaceutical measures and inoculation to keep everyone healthy and safe. In other news, as officers at Her Majesty's prison continue efforts to contain the spread of COVID-19 with COVID within the facility, vaccinations are also underway, according to the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of National Security, Osmond Petty. Mr. Petty gave an update during the NEOC COVID-19 press briefing on Friday. There are 179 inmates at the prison, Her Majesty's prison, of which 89 have been vaccinated. Just, that is just about 50 percent. 64 of that 89 have been fully vaxxed with their two doses and 25 have had one dose. Among the staff, there are 70 staff members in St. Kitts HMP and 52 have been vaccinated, roughly 74 percent. While in Nevis, there are 19 staff members of which nine have been vaccinated. 45 inmates tested positive with the COVID-19 virus, 42 between June 9 and 29, and 13 on July 1. 40 of the cases were from the previous batch are showing signs of recovery. Mr. Petty noted that the 13 new cases had no contact with the previous cases. I want to stress that those 13 were not in any way contaminated by the previous 40 because they were isolated. The important point to note though is that the first 40 have now tested negative with their first test recently and they're getting the second test and hopefully all of them will be confirmed negative again which means that they can be moved out of the isolation section at the prison. We will not put them back immediately with the other, other prisoners 
so that we, sh we, we, we make sure that there is no possibility of contamination. Just to correct those numbers I mentioned earlier, of the 45 inmates that were tested positive with the COVID-19 virus, 42 were, were tested between June 9 and 29 and 3 on July 1. The Permanent Secretary said a recently constructed three-story building on the compound of the prison currently houses about 25 inmates who, were all, who have all tested negative. He said that every effort is being made to keep them totally isolated from the other prisoners at HMP. Special arrangements have been put in place for students taking the 2021 Caribbean Examinations Council CSEC and CAPE exams and reside on Nevis. During Friday's NEOC briefing, the Honorable Akila Byron Nisbet, Minister of Health, briefly responded to a question posed about the arrangements in place. According to the ministry, the examinations will continue as scheduled and candidates will only be allowed to travel to and from their designated examination site on the days of their exams. Candidates must carry a valid government or school issued photo ID when traveling to and from exams and drivers transporting students to and from examinations must carry a valid driver's license and a copy of the student's timetable especially when returning to pick up students after an exam. CXC timetables can be accessed online at studentportal.cxc.org. Students are also reminded that they must be in full uniform and must follow all COVID-19 protocols when reporting to exam sites. Premier of Nevis, the Honorable Mark Brantley, and the Honorable Troy Liber, the Junior Minister of Education, have extended best wishes and encouragement to all students. We now take a look at the latest COVID-19 situation report. Coming up, we'll have another look at some of the stories from the past week. Stay tuned. Here are your Hotspots Value Mat IGA Value Club Blue Tag Specials from July 1st through 14th. Essential Everyday Apple Juices, just $6.99. IGA Canned Vegetables, $2.99. IGA Peanut Butter, Creamy and Crunchy, $7.99. Almond Breeze Milk, $12.99. Essential Everyday Bar and Shredded Cheeses, just $7.99. Wishbone Salad Dressings, just $8.99. And now, our very low weekly value deals. Craft Barbecue Sauces, $5.99 each. Essential Everyday Pastas, $2.99. IGA Squeezed Ketchup, $3.99. Equaline Mouthwash, 1.3 to 1.5 liters, just $9.49. Shop smart, shop value mat. Realisto y haga sus compras a value mat. Want to get away? Now you can. Stop standing in long ATM lines to withdraw cash. Use your national debit or black cards to complete a wide variety of transactions at supermarkets, variety stores, gas stations, pharmacies, and more. Shop online at the most popular websites and stores for quality brands using your national debit or black cards. And take back your time to enjoy all the things that you love to do. Remember, instead of waiting in long ATM lines to withdraw cash, use your national bank cards today. National Bank. Always here. Your safety and convenience are most important to us at Flow. That's why we provide many ways for you to keep your account connected, which now includes FastPay, the new convenient payment option on our website. No registration required. Or download the MyFlow app to pay anytime from anywhere on your smartphone or tablet. If you wish to pay your bill in person, feel free to visit any of our fully sanitized branches. Flow is committed to helping you stay connected. Let's do this together. The National Assembly on Monday agreed to extend the state of emergency in St. Kitts and Nevis until the end of the year. More in this report. 
A state of emergency in St. Kitts and Nevis will be in effect until December 31st, 2021. This means that citizens, residents and visitors in St. Kitts and Nevis will have to tailor their behavior in accordance with the regulations of the SOE. The resolution to extend the current SOE was approved by the National Assembly on Monday and declared by Speaker of the House Honorable Michael Perkins. We have 12 eyes, Honorable Speaker, one abstention, and two members were absent when the division was done. Thank you, uh, Madam Clark. It has been reported to this Honorable House that of the 15 members of this House, that is all 11 representatives and four senators, some 12 members have voted in support of the resolution to extend the state of emergency to 31st December, hereby approved and passed by this Honorable House. Moments before votes were cast, members of the opposition exited the chambers, demonstrative of their non-support of the extension of the state of emergency. In presentations made, however, they outlined that the resolution should have been coupled with an action plan with regards to the economic, educational, and health status of the country, according to Senator Dr. Joyal Clark. In relation to health, Minister of Health Honorable Akila Barry Nisbet mentioned during her presentation that scientists will this week meet with the ministry to chat the way forward in relation to properly managing the lambda strain of COVID-19 circulating in the country. The votes were cast as 12 ayes, one abstention, with two members of opposition leaving the National Assembly. St. Kitts and Nevis has received 5,000 additional doses of the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine, according to Prime Minister Harris. Here's more. St. Kitts and Nevis has received 5,000 additional doses of the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine. In his address to the nation on Friday, Prime Minister Harris said the government continues to explore other options to have more vaccines available to our people as we move toward our goal of having at least 70% of the population vaccinated. I have been engaged with a number of CARICOM heads and through bilateral diplomatic arrangements, we have secured an additional 5,000 doses of AstraZeneca vaccines. These vaccines have an expiration date of August 31st, 2021. The Prime Minister said vaccines are a scarce and precious commodity and urged persons to take advantage of the opportunity to get vaccinated. I therefore urge everyone to make use of the opportunity to become vaccinated while supplies last. This will enable us to achieve in the shortest possible time the stronger and safer future that we all deserve. The Prime Minister informed that the additional 5,000 doses are already in the Federation and the vaccination program will restart on Thursday, July 8, 2021. June 30th was the final day for administering the remaining doses of AstraZeneca vaccines, which were obtained from the Government of India and through the COVAX facility. From unfathomable to comfortable, Carlene Richardson of Tabernacle and her family are now reunited in their new home thanks to the efforts of the community and the social services department. Mervan Thompson tells us more. About two years ago, when then Minister of Social Services, Honorable Wendy Phipps, was alerted to the living conditions of Carlene and her family, a definitive decision was made to rectify the situation. At a handing over ceremony on Thursday, Minister Phipps admitted that she was almost moved to tears at the situation then, which led to a temporary separation of the family unit. I remember that we would have come here and uh, almost to the point of tears we would have seen the condition that your family would have been living under. And it was not easy to take in. We could not fathom how somebody could have managed to live like that. But at the same time, we respected what you were trying to do in terms of putting a roof over your head. But at the same time, we recognized that it was less than what you had deserved. So as a result of that, we would have made a decision for public health reasons to demolish the structure that you would have had here. 
and we would have made other arrangements which would have caused some temporary separation in terms of your family unit. But I think based on the little edifice that I see, beautiful edifice that we now see here today, I think you would agree that it would have been worth it. It was through the involvement of community members that brought the completion of the home, as expressed by Mrs. Ann Wigley, Deputy Director of Social Services, when she thanked them. The son of Colleen, I must make a big thank you right here, to the McCalls in Mansion. And we would like to have many more persons like this in the community for taking in this lovely boy into their home for about nearly two years. For nothing, they did not ask me for one cent. They took him in, look after him like their son. And here today we are to thank all those persons, the contractor, Mr. Thomas, and his crew for such a job. And all others who help in this really nice five-star hotel here. Constituency Representative, Prime Minister Dr. Honorable Timothy Harris, presented Ms. Richardson with the keys to her new dwelling. Great pleasure in presenting a set of keys to Caroline Richardson, the new owner of this very wonderful property, and to wish her and all who enter God's protection, safety, and prosperity. Ms. Richardson and his son, Sazekiel, thanked the Department of Social Services, Mikey Hope, who donated the furnishings, including appliances, and all others involved. Mervan Thompson, ZIZ News. After the break, Barbados deals with the ravages of now tropical storm Elsa and four dead in Cyprus forest fires. Stay tuned. <laughs> Like the dude who was shopping at furniture and appliances. See my friend, you look like you buy something from the Ashley Home Store. How you know? Because we get the cash back back coupons, coupons and, and the free, free groceries for a year. Cash back is back at Horsford's Furniture and Appliances and Ashley Furniture. Shop now and get a chance to win free groceries for one year. Imagine having the luxury of putting all your trust in one insurance company and being able to enjoy a life to the fullest without having to worry. Well, don't imagine. National Caribbean Insurance is here to take care of all your insurance needs. Insure your life, vehicle, boat, home, belongings, and your future. At NCI, we make it our business to ensure that you enjoy every stage in life. We serve. We protect. We satisfy. That's NCI. Call or WhatsApp Agility Exports today at 1-246-417-0477 or email us at info at agilityexports.com to get yours now. Regionally, in the wake of Hurricane Elsa and as many Barbadian, Barbadian, Barbadian families are now displaced, one man is recounting his experience telling of the moments before the roof was ripped from his house. This special Barbados Today report. Uh, as you can see, it's the most still living. That's the first thing. The, the poor off, the war off is gone, and it started to break from the side. Were you in the home when this occurred? Well, yes. Well, I would say yes. There's ten of us in the house. There's ten of us living in the two bedroom. Is the two bedroom? Ten of us living inside. And my wife. My wife. 
Well, I sleep in it the night myself and so. And they sleep here at my mom. Right. So I mean, what occurred when the hurricane hit? Well, what occurred, she, my wife, she come down the morning to make breakfast for everybody. And while, while she was in heaven, make, while she was making breakfast, my brother, my brother called and tell, tell us that the roof start to lift. So I told her, well, come hurry up, do what she got to do, what she got to do, done, done, and let me get out of here. And by the time that I leave from there and get by my mother's house, part of the roof was gone. So my daughter, my, my, my daughter and I come back down here to see if we could, we could salvage. Was taking the television, the other part of the roof went, and we didn't get to save nothing. That is all. Well, let's say it's all we save is the television. So what's next? What's next for you? How how you guys rebuilding? Well, the rebuilding part as far as my is, is family living over here. My mom, my brother, my sister said that she would take two of the children and put them up, but you know. There's things to be thinking about, you know, they don't want to be for long. So the hardest, most thing that I want is to see if we can get back to so that all that we can get back together as a family. Meanwhile, in St. Andrew, Jamaica, the Hope River swelled as now Tropical Storm Elsa drenches the eastern parishes. Elsa is expected to move further away from Jamaica during the course of Sunday night. Internationally, four people were found dead as a huge fire raged for a second day in Cyprus, destroying tracts of forest in a blaze one official called the worst on record. Reuters News has more in this report. Four people were found dead on Sunday as a huge fire raged for a second day in Cyprus. Tracts of forest have been razed to the ground and dozens of homes gutted. The blaze, fanned by strong winds, affected at least 10 communities in the foothills of the Trudos mountain range. It's a pine forest with densely vegetated shrubland that covers at least 19 square miles. Cypriot President Nikos Anastasiades called it one of the most destructive fires we have experienced, adding that the state would stand by all those affected. The victims were found dead close to Odu, a mountainous community north of the cities of Limassol and Lanaka. Witnesses say they were found a short distance from a vehicle that appeared to have crashed. Egypt's foreign ministry said it had been informed by Cypriot authorities that the victims were Egyptian. Nations including Greece, Italy and Israel have offered their assistance in fighting the blaze. The cause of the fire, which started around midday on Saturday, remains unclear though police said they were questioning a 67-year-old person in connection with the blaze. Cyprus experiences hot summer months, with temperatures in recent days exceeding 104 Fahrenheit. We'll be right back with a recap of the top stories. Imagine having the luxury of putting all your trust in one insurance company and being able to enjoy a life to the fullest without having to worry. Well, don't imagine. National Caribbean Insurance is here to take care of all your insurance needs. Insure your life, vehicle, boat, home, belongings and your future. At NCI, we make it our business to ensure that you enjoy every stage in life. We serve, we protect, we satisfy. That's NCI. We know there are moments when life just doesn't go as planned and our days pretty much takes us where it wants to. But for every missed occasion, there's a great opportunity. We are making it easier to make bill payments, report faults and receive bill balances through our automated call-in service available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Simply call 465-2000 and say or press 2 to access our automated customer service system. Say or press 2 to make a payment via credit card. Enter your 8-digit Skillet account number as seen on your bill. Enter the amount you wish to pay without a decimal point. For example, enter 2000 for a $20 payment. Have your credit card on hand to enter your credit card number, expiration date and security number. One phone call gives you the power to regain control of your day. 
Skillex Interactive Voice Response System. Skillex, powering responses. We now wrap up with a recap of the top stories. Food voucher initiative increases to benefit more persons, vaccinations underway at HMP, and special arrangements made for CXC students in Nevis. And that's it for the ZIZ Major Newscast. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jason Davis.